peace be with you. In the 36th chapter of the Quran, verse 68, God tells us, And he to whom we grant a long life, we are reversing creation, so will they not understand. As a physician, this verse always strikes me because I observe both ends of life, and this is exactly what I see. When a young child is born, they are weak and needing constant care, constant nursing care. They need to be fed, their diapers need to be changed, and that is what you see in patients who need nursing care in nursing homes, the very elderly. They are bed bound, they have to have diapers, and most of the time they need help feeding. When a child gets a little bit older, they're learning how to walk. They need a walker. If you ever had a small child, you probably out here in the West, you bought them a little walker with little wheels, and that is how they learn how to uh, walk. When a very elderly person is heading toward nursing care, that is also what they use, a walker. When a child, a toddler, gets a little bit older, they're unsteady on their feet, but they can walk. One of the most frequent problems with people uh, when they, before they start using a walker, is that they are very unsteady and they fall frequently. It is exactly the same thing. We get reversed in creation and we become like children. One can even argue that our mentality deteriorates and that we, uh, we start thinking like children, we become more emotional. And that is true, especially when the onset of dementia. Now, not everybody suffers dementia. Some people die before that. But if you live long enough, you probably will experience that as well. It is important to remember that when we deal with our elderly parents. And the older they are, the more we have to remember what God told us. In the 17th chapter of the Quran, verse 23, God tells us, And your Lord has commanded that you shall serve none but him and goodness to your parents. If one or both of them reaches old age with you, do not say to them as much as oof, nor raise your voice to them, nor berate them, but address them with respect, and be humble towards them, and say, My Lord, please have mercy on them, for they raised me when I was a child. We return the favor for a favor, because we are exactly in the same position, and you will be in exactly in the same position. We need exactly the same care on both ends of our life, and we have to return that to somebody that gave us that unconditionally. So remember that. And it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. Don't underestimate that. Try not to put your parents in nursing homes because those are hell holes. And as a, as a physician, I'm going to give you a sincere word of advice as far as dementia is concerned. When your parents become demented and they become a danger to themselves and others to the point where you just can't do it, that is the only time I really understand nursing home care. Don't try to extend their life at all costs anymore. Make them comfort care so when they get ill, allow them to return to their Lord. Don't make him suffer in prison and so they wonder why am I here by myself all the time. They might not know how to express it, but I tell you, they feel the same fears as children do. It may not seem like it, but we are reversed in creation. Prepare for your death prepare for return to your childlike state and the best way to do that is to raise your kids to be what God commanded them to be you will benefit from it. peace be with you